Greetings friends, Steven here, and welcome to Gamer Hall. This is Gamer Hall episode 54. Already, this is getting out of control again. Uh, our recording date is May the 1st. Uh, it's after work on a Tuesday. Uh, sunlight is just crazy hot out and uh, makes for good recording light. So I figured, uh, hey, let's get this done sooner than later. Uh, unfortunately, I meant to have this up before my toy show video, but eh, it happens. Uh, toy show happened and I wanted to uh, show that stuff off sooner than later. So here we are. Game of all 54 again. Uh, let's get going. Our backdrop item is our first item. Uh, it's here because I'm going to have to move it because uh, it's going to take up too much space. Otherwise, it is, as you can see, Mega Man, Proto Man, Buster with lights and sands. Original price of, I think it was actually more than 50 bucks. I think it might have been maybe 60 to 70 originally. But it was brought down to 50. You can actually see the cut the four and put it over there and then now it was brought down to 20 bucks and as you can see this is a very big box from think geek unfortunately it does require batteries which are not included which is unfortunate this box is already hot from the sunlight <laughs> at least things aren't orange so let's try and roll through this episode fairly quickly before everything melts so as you can see, you put your hand in the gun and you can shoot a little pew pew bang bang. It's got the LED in the front, makes sound effects I believe. Left or right handed, very cool. And that's a neat thing. It's very big though, I don't know where I'm going to put it. And I hope it has a little stand, otherwise it's just going to have to be, uh, I guess, like this, just pointing up. If I have it on a shelf or whatever. But yeah, neat thingy. Great way to start an episode off, but like I said, and I'll see if I can uh, try and uh, sneak it into the side so you, you won't forget it. <laughs> How could you forget that thing? It's cute. I meant to say cool, I said cute. It's cool. Cool like Proto Man. He's the cool one. I always liked Proto Man growing up back in the day because he was so cool. There we go. And you get Megam Proto. That'll work. Okay, uh, so, uh, what do we want to start with? Okay, so in the last Gamer Hall, uh, I showed off, what was it? I remember, one of the Beast Wars figures. Oh, it was, uh, Baboom, the, uh, Baboon guy. <clears throat> and I mentioned that he was actually part of a group of Beast Wars toys that they had in their auction display case at this thrift store, because thrift stores all want to be eBay now, so that's great. But anyways, uh, for whatever reason, they didn't, uh, I guess they didn't sell at any bid, even though I'm pretty sure I put a bid in myself. But anyways, uh, I found a Baboom one day, and then I came back a week later, and I found more of the Beast Wars figures that they had that same day. Oh my god. I got, one day I'll figure out lighting for videos, but uh, it's too bright here. It's too dark here. Whatever. He's a little lizard dude. I mean, let's be real. I can't, I, I'm still breathing into the mic too much. So, what can you do? Thanks, <laughs> thanks guys for sticking with me nonetheless. We're over uh, 1,100 subs at this point, so that's pretty cool. And these were, I want to see, six, okay, these are like six bucks each, and then I have a DVD that I bought with them, but they were enough for me to use one of my discount coupons, so they were 10 bucks off. So, we'll just put them over there. These are very small, basic. Actually, I can even show you how this works. You just pull the tail down, yeah, and the whole thing just kind of auto transforms. Now he's a Gila monster, or whatever, and you just fold the arms and like going. Otherwise, you just whoop, and there he is. There's that <laughs> couch is getting warm. Ugh. And with that, I also got this dude. He's I think he's just called Insecticon. He's just a very basic like insect grunt dude. There you go. Sticker price six dollars. Maybe even a bit much, especially considering some of the prices I saw at the toy show, but whatever. Uh, when there isn't a toy show in town, it's tricky to find any of this stuff. So, he's green. He's a bug beetle dude. And this one is actually pretty cool, because she was in the show. This is Air Razor. Unless he transformed already once again. Six dollars, but with discount. That's a pretty cool figure. They're, these are small, though. Uh, let me... Uh, it's on my desk behind me. Okay, just for scale, here's one of the more recent uh, Legends class. That's a wheelie. So they're about that same size, which is fine. Neat little figures. Wheelie on the way. 
And finally, one of the bigger ones that they had there. This this guy's hilarious. I actually had this guy already, but who could turn down another one? It's like re retracts or retox or something along those lines. He's basically like one of those rolling pill bug things, whatever they're called. And he does transform. There's a robot in there. He does also, uh, I don't remember how to not break it, but it's like, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> ah, these boys. Ahead of its time. That's fun. So, that was neat. Need to find those. Surprised that no one else picked them up, but, you know, Beast Wars maybe not the most popular of Transformers, but they were my generation's Transformers, basically, so. And along with those, I also picked up this fancy edition of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, starring Dick Van Dyke. I love Dick Van Dyke. So, let's get this whole book, and sorry if there's glare all over the place. This part here is actually a bit busted, so hopefully it stays in there, but this is a double-sided disc. Yeah. Neat. Okay. Uh, what else before everything melts? Uh, they are getting warm. Let's see. Let's go. It's all going to be out of order. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, Nazca of the Valley of the Wind. Uh, sticker price of $4. I believe this was also actually from the same thrift store, but from a different purchase. Two discs. Everything is in great shape. Great movie. Definitely a highly recommended. Hey, look. It's Retrox. Retax. Whatever his name is. Same thing. Cool. Definitely I'd recommend checking this out if you haven't yet. One of the best Ghibli films. Mm, that'll work. <laughs> I might have to move stuff around at the end for my uh, thumbnail image. Uh, next up. Hey, we do actually have some video games. This isn't just movies and toys now. It's my favorite, the $2 bin from Epic Games. Lord of the Rings, uh, The Return of the King by EA. I tried it, it's not great. But it was two bucks, so that's great. Next up, uh, two pack of classic arcade games, Spy Hunter and Super Sprint. I, I couldn't figure out how to get the Spy Hunter car to drive. It was weird, like where is the gas button? Super Sprint's fun though. I crashed a bunch of times. Surprisingly hard game without a steering wheel. And finally, Tony X Pro Skater 3, or the GBA, two bucks. Um, both of these are kind of like overhead camera style games. Boop. Those are fine, not great. But two bucks, what can I say? Not a bad deal. Next up. Okay. Uh, the store that I actually put on that toy show, Cherry Bomb Toys, uh, I just brought a ton of like junk or thrift bots over there. And some of them are good, like some of them are like, movie optimuses but i didn't want them and some were just like for parts and all that and i said what can i get for that and i got this for all that stuff it's a uh, transformers animated black arachnia whoa that focus is all over the place let me it's either two <laughs> anyways uh she was missing actually this is kind of ridiculous but if i can just right here see there's this little purple mandible this one is actually missing, unfortunately. And I did know that when I picked it up, but it is um, one of the figures I was looking to grab. She's got pretty good uh, light piping in her four eyes there. Was, you can, where is this focus going? Here. Do the old M go hand in front of the thingy trick? Hold on, let me just... Okay, Max, so I just closed my... <laughs> Close my curtain. It's too crazy bright. I think that still looks pretty decent lighting wise. So hopefully, uh, you guys saw everything before and you can see it now again. There we go. And I didn't, <laughs> I was legit worried that this box was getting pretty warm. I'll probably just squish it and throw it into the closet, but I will keep the box. Um, but yeah, you saw that stuff, but uh, yeah. Yeah, that looks better. And uh, this was actually repainted to, into the uh, the Beast Wars original Black Arachnia colors, which I wouldn't mind picking up at some point. But that's a pretty expensive figure if you buy it on import. So this one's pretty cool too. Cool figure. And I only have this one. And I've actually got the original Beast Wars Black Arachnia, but that's just a straight up repaint of the Tarantulas mold, which does not look like her at all. And then I've got the Beast Machines Black Arachnia. Her robot mode is kind of... 
it looks okay in the show, but the toy is kind of rough. But the the spider form looks pretty cool, so I I just keep it in spider form. It's way way over there on the shelf. Okay. Next up, uh, is that video games? This is video games. Mm. Went over to uh, friends at Home Tech, and they actually had some old Nintendo powers in. I picked up three of them. Just flip through these real quick. Our favorite new section, the uh, stuff I didn't buy but wanted to section, is going to be the longest one yet because I've got a ton of pictures of stuff I kind of wanted but didn't pick up. Because as you guys know, I pick up more than enough as is. I actually had a bit of an epiphany at work today that maybe I'm richer than I think because I do still consistently find the things and we're going to see a ton of more Transformers and that stuff all adds up real quick. But if I didn't buy a lot of that stuff, maybe I'd have... A few more bucks to spend otherwise, but I mean, this is what I want to spend the money on, so what can you do? That's life, I guess. It is what it is. This one's neat. It's got a lot of older games like Mega Man 2 back there, and I believe this is uh, the original Dragon Quest. New Dragon Quest coming out soon, so that'll probably pick up day one. So that'll be a, a game for my gamer haul, which is mostly toys. So Roger Rabbit back there. I love this Roger Rabbit game. Don't let anyone tell you it sucks, because it is good. Mm -hmm. And this one with Link to the Past. That's awesome. Is that? That's live. It's an actual guy. It's just a photograph, I think. <laughs> These would be good thumbnail images. But I get lazy, you know. I don't put a whole lot of effort into the uh, thumbnails. My thumbnails are very honest. You just get a pile of stuff. For these. <laughs> that's, that's what the show is. We're just looking at stuff. Whole lot of stuff. Ooh, link to the past walkthrough. Cool. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, I'll leave these here. There you go. You can kind of see it. Oh, I need more, more filming space. That is a fact. Let's move on. Oh boy, a lot of toys. Make room. Hold on. Oh my leg, uh, leg cramp. Let's get a lot of these out of here for now. We're gonna need some space because we're gonna see in my toy show video. I believe I mentioned that I actually spent a lot of money on toys before the toy show happened, and we're gonna see a lot of those right now. Because this would be a very short video if I stuck to purely games. We'd have, what, Nintendo Powers and some uh, some cheap GBA games? That would be it. That wouldn't work. Uh, so, Power of the Primes, Wave 2 Deluxes came in stock for a whole day or two. They sold out, and I was definitely one of the ones that helped to buy them all out. Terracon, Ripper Snapper. Uh, I'm still looking for the main guy for the, the Monster Bots. Uh, Hunger. I've got Elite of One. Did I show Lita one yet? I don't know. I'll just show real quick. There you go. She's holding wind blades. Wind blades. Because uh, her default guns are ridiculously small. So I gave her these swords because they look cool. And she's a, she's a big girl. <laughs> kind of reminds me of a strong arm from R.I.D. But yeah, this is a cool figure. I, for whatever reason, I just haven't gotten around to opening it yet. Because as you saw in the Toy Show video, once again, I just added a ton of loose figures to the collection. And... Those are certainly easier to just instantly pick up and play. These, I always like to cut them real fancy-like so I can keep the board because I do like to keep these backboards. Some people like to throw them out. I like to keep them. Uh, plastic I don't keep. This thing I keep, this little insert. Once again, you can just flatten everything, put in a folder, whatever. Uh, the cards, I definitely keep those and put them in a the binder. But anyways, uh, Blackwing, uh, he combines with the other jet guy. From the first wave, but once again, it doesn't mention that anywhere on the packaging, which is no wait, no one. Is this? Is that? Yeah, that is that is an image of them combined. Okay, there you go. Good, they actually figured it out this time. Unlike our friends over there, the duo cons, whose combination feature was definitely not shown anywhere. Then we have uh, another female character, which is neat, uh, Moon Racer, known for her ridiculously big backpack. Still neat character. You don't see the female 
Transformers made into toys all that often. Ironically, I don't have RC yet, who's uh, the most, probably the most uh, famous female Autobots slash Transformer. Her in, I guess? Uh, Black Arachne is actually really popular nowadays. Hmm. And then finally, these two I did open just to complete all my Dinobots real quick. We have uh, Sludge and Snarl. He's really good, actually. I like this one. I was even thinking of doing a review on him. So there's that art. Cool art. Okay. Uh, let's move on. Okay, so here's something I've already opened. I was <laughs> actually I was thinking of doing a video on Beyblades because, I don't know, I have a problem. But I wanted to have a Beyblade. I ordered a couple from eBay and they haven't shown up yet. I might end up needing to get a refund because I think they might be lost in the mail because it came from parts unknown in China or Hong Kong. I don't know. Hopefully they show up. But anyways, I had to try out Beyblade. And uh, stay tuned because hopefully not confirmed. Anything I say <laughs> can never be confirmed. I want to do podcasts. Who knows when? I want to do videos. Who knows when? I want to do more of everything. Who knows when? So hopefully at some point maybe I'll put a funny Beyblade video out where I'm figuring out how to uh, let her rip as they say. But uh, yeah. yeah. Here it is. Spoiler alert. I thought it looked cool. It's like a shiny tasty tide pod but in a spinning top form so we'll get into this in greater detail in that video if and when i upload it okay next up more toys uh, these are all the things i bought like those guys the um the beyblade and now these grocery gang figures are what set me back for the toy show which is unfortunate but it's fortunate because i haven't seen these in stock anywhere since i picked them up except for one day when i saw some of these Transformers, but otherwise they're just gone, which is ridiculous. But anyways, Grocery Gang Wave 3 now. This guy's actually neat. I have the original one. This one is a different repaint, but I really think that looks really cool. It's like translucent blue turning into purple. And his eyes actually glow in the dark, which is a nice touch. When I saw the glow in the dark uh, little advertisement there, I actually bought all of the repaints because uh, I thought the, the entire thing glowed in the dark. Which it doesn't. It's just the eyes, which is kind of a bummer, but it's a nice feature nonetheless. So as you can see, they're Grub, Sub, and Trash Head. Those I also picked up, but I ended up returning them because I didn't. They, they look kind of ugly in those repaints, and I thought they completely glowed in the dark because, like this Grub Sub guy, he looks like he's all made of glow in the dark green, but he isn't. Anyways. Uh, we got, uh, he's like a spider. These are really fun, though. These remind me of, like, toys from the 80s. These are arguably one of the best new uh, toy lines I've seen lately. And, of course, as you may have noticed, we haven't recorded any toy casts lately, so Gamer Hall has become my, uh, my replacement toy cast. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, 1100 subs and growing. Like, comment, subscribe. What up? Uh, this guy's funny. He's like an ice cream cone with a little dude on his head. A little, they all come with a little, a little racery type accessory and a little weapon. It's neat. And is that it for grocery gangs? One, two, three. Uh, that dog guy. Hold on a second. Gonna pause it one more time. Okay, Mac. Uh, yeah, he's right here. What, what the hell's wrong with me? <laughs> that dog guy. What's his name? Does it even say? Uh, bug strike, grocery gang, grot dog. Very, very small. Of course, it's got to have the French because Canada, but uh, that should be bigger. His name should be bigger. But anyways, he's an angry hot dog dude. A little angry hot dog dude. And this thing looks funny. I think it opens. Whatever it is. And yeah, they're just fun, fun, good, good fun. Reminds me of like garbage pail kids or food fighters, whatever. Yeah. These ones I don't have. I might pick up if they ever come back in stock. I've actually got the original version of this and this guy, though. And also, just because I uh, was up for a moment, I also picked up the original color of... How's the lighting? Is the lighting? The lighting's still pretty good. I think it's alright. It's better than that orange tint, unfortunately, I have to put up with when I use my overhead lights. But anyways, you can see 
it's cool. Repaints are cool. If they're done right, and I think this looks pretty good. But I thought this guy looked pretty good, too. Cool. They're brothers or something. Just looking at you. Somebody's watching me. Yeah, you weren't ready for that. Okay, uh, we're actually at 20 minutes already, which is usually when I like to stop these, but we're going to keep going because I want to get this stuff done with so I can put it all away. It keeps things separately for the gamer halls, which is actually one of the reasons why I stopped doing them for a while because I was making a mess. And I want to just put stuff away as soon as I got them. But anyways, uh, from our friends over at Sir Toys, please send me free toys and I will review them for you. <laughs> um, oversized Combiner Wars figures. Uh, these are, we got a couple, what are they? What are these guys called? Uh, I can't remember. It's been a long day. It's only Tuesday. It's hot out. Anyways, he's a, turns like a, like an SUV truck thing. Menasaur, what are the road? Stunticons, there you go, thank you. And this guy, I actually really like this guy. They, um, they've announced the third party. There's a guy called Montana who's like a fancier, like these are still very basic, but they're bigger and they're actually tighter joints. But as you can see, it still has that Hasbro huge gap. But they're pretty big. Like these are definitely bigger than the Everidge uh, Deluxe. So just as an example, just a little sample. Here's is more or less a deluxe size. This is the guy I forgot to show in the in the toy show video. But as you can see, a bit of a height difference. These are more or less. Is the uh, Lita still over there? Yeah. See, they're even even taller than a even just a bit taller than a Voyager size. But once again, tighter joints. Maybe better paint. These aren't as fancy as, say, my uh, Toy House Factory Megatron, but they're still pretty good figures, too. Strange thing, though, they didn't come with the uh, Combiner Wars hand part, which other ones do, so I don't know why. Maybe these two didn't ever come with the hands? I don't know. You never really know. Like, uh, as an example, this is one of the Dinobots' little hands. Um... Along with those, I also picked up uh, Squeaks from the fifth Transformers movie. He comes with a little trailer as well. He's a trailer over there. It doesn't matter. But he's just a cute little scooter dude. And the original version of this toy was the same size, but they covered him with dirt. But it kind of just looked like poop because it was really bad paint. And this bootleg version is a clean blue. Like he's like fresh out of the car wash. While the other one that they Hasbro released was just really grimy looking. So, this one looks better. And finally, this ridiculous dude. Look at this thing. How can anyone not love these knockoff toys? The original version of this is smaller. It doesn't have the die cast this thing does. Like, this part here is all die cast metal. He's got more paint. Look at the, look at the, look at the details. It's beautiful. It's Robot John Goodman. Did, I, I don't think I showed these off. Did I show them off? I don't remember. Anyways, that's a big, mean toy right there. That is that is quality construction. You tell me. Maybe Hasbro's the real knock knockoff company. And finally, just picked these up today because they were a penny each. My fucking fidget spinners. And look, it's glow in the dark. Yeah! And, I, and here's a case because, sure... They were a penny each. They were technically free because they rang up as two cents. And, like, we round down two cents to nothing in Canada. So, <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, that about does it for this episode of Gamer Hall. But before we go, uh, I'm going to go through these fairly quickly. But it's time for my favorite new segment of stuff I didn't buy but wanted to buy. Or at least considered buying. But I didn't buy. But I sure thought about it. So first up, real quick, uh, we have... Okay, yeah, this thing um, looked pretty cool. It's a Legend of Zelda, it's like a stand display thing. You see the picture there? Uh, Link fighting a mummy. I've got one of these already. Not this one, but a different one. But they were neat, but they they, they just look like kind of crappy compared to the stuff we get nowadays. And I'm pretty sure on the bottom of this thing, it was actually like, re-glued and nailed in so it wasn't tip-top shape and they wanted like whatever the price there was like 15 or whatever i already forget but eh it's fine i don't need it next up uh 
whole bunch of PS1 games I saw at a thrift store, and it looks from a glance like a bunch of games there would be worth picking up, except they were all mixed up and all the good games were gone, and those cases were trashed. From this picture, it looks cool, but trust me, none of those were worth picking up. Next up, at EB Games, I found a Monster Hunter World plush. That's an Agedath, whatever his name is. He's like a fuzzy T-Rex. And when he gets upset, his nose flares up, which is why it looks like that. And he spits fire out. Um, not my favorite monster. And that plushie was ridiculously expensive, as plushies often are for whatever reason. That thing was like 30 40 bucks. Like the price of a video game was this plushie. So no. No. That picture will do just fine. Next up, real quick, uh, you can buy these now at Walmart, which is kind of neat. These uh, SNES-style controllers. Uh, that's a USB controller. You can use, I believe the, uh, they're compatible with the Nintendo Switch, which is pretty neat for people who have one of those. Uh, don't need it, though. I wouldn't mind picking it up if I ever had need for it, but I have no need for it right now. Uh, next up, real quick, uh, an oversized Godzilla Funko, which I believe was also glow-in-the-dark. Which looked kind of cool, but that was also like 30 40 bucks or something. And that's just more than I want to spend. I'm not that big a Godzilla fan, to be quite honest with you. Uh, after that, uh, Cherry Bomb Toys had this Spider-Man doppelganger action figure complete and vintage. Still in the uh, the back of the board there. Uh, pretty neat. But I saw that like very shortly before the toy show and I was like, mm, it's fine, I don't need it. Uh, here's a yak, a shaved yak, also that same day at Cherry Bomb. Um, same story, it was still sealed. Funny, uh, great character from the uh, Rubber Nipple Salesman episode of Ren and Stimpy. But, mm, yeah, kind of expensive that one I think it was, and I didn't really need it. Next up, at EB Games, sometimes you can find them, sometimes not. They're all sold out locally, but uh, the movie, studio movie series of Transformers... Here's Grimlock, and then I'll eventually switch it over to Blackout. Uh, very big and detailed and nice toys, to be fair, but they're really expensive as well. I think the price on those are like 70 bucks each. And it goes down to uh, 65 if you have the, uh, the discount card, but that's still an awful lot of money for figures I'm not overly fond of. Uh, a Labyrinth comic book. I saw this at our local comic book shop. I had no idea this even existed, and this was, what, like the third issue of this comic line, and it's the first time I've seen it, and comics are really expensive now, especially in Canada, so I'm just like, nah, it's fine, I don't need it, but I do love Labyrinth. It is arguably one of my favorite movies, and I would like to read this comic at some point. I don't know if it's any good, though. Uh, two more. Uh, a G.I. Joe plane... I saw this at a thrift store. Um, it looks cool. Like, it's big, too. But it's it was in pretty rough shape. And I don't definitely don't need to get into G.I. Joe collecting again. I used to have a ton of G.I. Joe stuff, but no. No, no, no. The price was actually really good, but no. No, no, no. Someone else can pick that up and resell it or keep it. I don't care. It's not for me, though. And finally, just today... At Walmart, uh, there's a new Tremor movie. <laughs> a new Tremor movie. I had no idea. Shout out to uh, Richard Rambox, uh, the world's number one Tremors fan. I don't know if he watches these. I don't know if anyone watches these. But anyways, uh, I bought the last one, Tremors 5 on Blu-ray, and it was so-so. I'm more of a Leprechaun man myself. <laughs> if the next Leprechaun movie is on Blu-ray, that I might have to pick up. But Tremors, eh, I'll just watch it digitally. So anyways, that's it. Um, these gamer halls are getting longer, and maybe that might not be the best thing. I, I, I like... <sighs> anyways, once again, I made a mess on the couch. It means i got to figure out a place to put this stuff. But that's my problem, not yours. Everyone, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the channel, Camax Gaming on YouTube. Who the hell knows what I'll upload next? Could be a live stream podcast. Could be... Should I keep it? Remember that show? Could be a game star. Yeah, right. Could be a handheld heritage episode. I've got tons more LCD games to show off. Oh, could be that Beyblade video. We, you don't know. Subscribe and stay tuned and we'll find out. It's probably going to be near the gamer hole. <laughs> probably. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye. Wish me luck. I'm going to try and take a picture after this for our thumbnail. And I made a mess again on the couch. Anyways. See you guys next time.